Hookah John here again. Yeah, the place is a mess. I'm sorry. I don't feel like straightening up. I don't sit down and plan my videos, but today, today we got something good for you. Um, we've had these for a while. These are called the Aviator Hoses. These are made by the Art Hookah Company who brought you the Art Hookah uh, Glass Hookahs. They brought you the uh, Art Hookah Lounge in downtown San Diego. Now, this one's probably going to need some close-up. What is it? It's a hose, right? Here's the length. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm barely six feet tall. There we go. So we're looking at like seven foot long hose. This is the black. They come in a couple other colors. The pictures are on the website. I've had these. I needed to do a video on it. What's good about these, they're silicone and everything, but they're, and I can't just show you this in the camera. They are just so silky smooth compared to other brands of hoses. All right. You've got a nice aluminum uh, handle here with some grooves. Um, you get this coil around uh, the hose port where it goes in so it doesn't break, I guess. It doesn't crimp. Would it crimp here? Yeah, I guess it could crimp. But they use these in the lounge. I've used them there. One of my guys here at work swears by it, uses it all the time. So that is the Aviator hose. Great hose. Check it out. Now what they came out with is the Aviator stem. Okay, nice little box. Let's see what this is. Tray. Nice plate, hot plate. Then we got, why did I get, I got a black one for me, that's right. All right, so we got your hub. I haven't even tried this, I'm just opening it up right now if you wanna check this out, the way it comes here. All assembled, so I mean, just start over. This was here, this was here. Sorry for rushing, I'm very, Suki John is very busy. Thank you guys again for all the orders. It keeps me really in check. All right, so what do we got here? Parts, I don't know, how, how do I put together a hookah? I have no idea, uh, I, I'm not, the brightest guy ever. So we're gonna figure this out online together. So it looks like, let's start with the down stem. Looks like it's got a built-in diffuser thing there. Let's put it against the white so you can see that. Um, using a new camera right now, not really a new one. My Samsung, I got the latest one, I don't know what is it, seven? I don't know what it is, it's a Samsung. It's about half a year old. Uh, my camera is not doing good, but I think this one is gonna be just as good. Maybe limited in performance, all right. So what am I supposed to do with this? Put it right in here? God, this is like the first time. What am I gonna do? Is that where I put it in the hole? There you go. All right. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know, it keeps going though. So what am I supposed to do? What about all the other stuff here? Keep going and going and going. Looks like you got two parts here. I'll just put the, it looks like fits in here. God, every time I do a video, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just look like a jerk and somebody else looks at it and he's like, dummy, you could have done that instead. Okay. It's pretty simple here. This, uh, while I'm doing this, the stem price on this is 170 bucks. That's the stem alone. No grommets. Okay, you got a tray. But I'm not doing a turn. This looks like a, a hose. No purge? It looks like they do have a built-in purge. Check that out. Like little snake eyes in there. You see that? Can you see those little two holes there? We're gonna test this out so you can check it out. I don't know. Is this your next hookah? Is it? I don't know. It's gonna be my next hookah. Okay, so we've got that there. Um, we're gonna assume we do this, but there's no screwable piece in here. So what am I doing wrong? This is threaded this way. Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm gonna call the people at our hookah. What's going on here? We got an issue. No pictures. What am I supposed to do? Oh, you got an idea on this? Like that? Oh, and then screw it through there? Oh, dude. When the cameraman is smarter than Hookah John at Hookah. Tell me, dude. This getting old thing is such a... I was on the golf course like 15 years ago, and this old man was like with me. And he wasn't that old. He was like, I don't know, late 50s, maybe 60s. He goes, man. This getting old shit's gonna be a real bitch. <laughs> and I always laughed at that. I always thought that was funny. All right, so anyways, I'll try not to use that line. Cause it's not. I'm like fine wine with age. I do get better. That's true. Ask, ask, you better ask somebody. All right, now you got a stem, this tray here. Oh, look at that. All right, and vo Viola, you've got a hookah. All right, now we don't have a grommet on this, so how am I gonna fit this? Uh, I was thinking about putting it on one of these. I need a better matching one. Man, you're gonna need a thick grommet for this. 
do we have any thick grommets or we're gonna have to homemade this this thing I do like the the wide diameter of this I want to get this going I'm gonna get a glass get a hookah going and use this hookah with you uh, for the hose to go in we will need a grommet I do have a grommet I'm gonna use one Are you all right with the camera there you just everything all right all right cool so we'll be back in just a little bit all right okay so we're looking at the perfect base for this and we found it actually check out the checkmate boho trumpet golden black goes perfect with this art hookah you're welcome this is just awesome if, in case you guys don't know these look up checkmate uh bohemian hookah bases you can get them at hookahjohn.com okay so what we did what we figured out to get this right you can kind of adjust the down stem with the uh, up stem if you will the actual outer stem and try to get a little bit of height difference going you can do that play with it you'll figure it out as far as getting the grommet on to fit a wide boho like this we put some tape under this grommet then apply the grommet on we will do that if you buy our if you buy the uh, aviator stem from us and a base whichever base you buy we'll custom fit it all right so we got that going Fitting hookahs isn't simple enough, but it sure is a pain sometimes. So here we go. We got some grommets too. It doesn't come with grommets, but I will add those grommets for you as long as you buy a complete set. Just a base and a and the stem. I mean, you need a base to go with this. You might have some extra bowls, but I'll still give you bowl grommets and hose grommet. I'd say get one of these too. Aviator. Uh, do you remember if this is forty or fifty bucks, something like that? Nice. Oh, listen to that. Really quiet. Purge. Okay, so we're gonna go. I should have done this before. Some shit C word. Kept the coals, right? Okay, here's the big it's a, a hookah bruise. A hookah no no. Are you know what a hookah no no is? Don't keep your tongs on top of your coals. It gets real hot. So I can't even squeeze these enough to get. John, hookah John's a wuss. Can't get it. My wife's got stronger cooking hands than I do. All right, here we go. Let's get these going here. Hookah Bruce, shout out to Hookah Bruce. Your boy just walked in the other, uh, about an hour ago. Uh, that would be, uh, what's his name? Les, he was in here. I wanna do this, do I wanna flavor saver right now? I'm on video, I don't feel like waiting for it to warm up. I can put two to warm it up. That's like, chill, it's hookah. Chill, relax. What are we doing? Could have done this before we started filming so that you would have um, just seen the final result. But I want to show you the hose going in, grommets, some other things. So let's see. It's going to take a second though. Well, maybe it won't. Let's see. It might be the perfect hookah. It's going to take time to warm up. So what can we do in the meantime? Do you want to look at other colors? The colors you can see on the... I don't even have them here. The colors you can see on the website. <laughs> Should we stop and get this thing going? All right, we'll stop. We'll be back in five minutes, all right? Right back. All right, so I'm back, and um, I took off the flavor saver. I didn't feel like waiting, and we're, I don't know, too much. Anyways, I'm back. Um, loving this hookah. Love the looks of it. Like the smooth, the quietness of it. Check it out. Pretty good. So overall, what are your ideas on hookahs? A few years ago, it was only KMs. You get some Turkish hookahs out there, which are all great. I mean, the artwork on the hookahs are great. On the Turkish hookahs are great. The KM artwork is great. They're built to last, um, handmade, most, mostly. These are machine-made, CNC'd. I'm digging it. Do you need this base? I think it matches the hookah just great, perfectly. Get any one of the bohos. If you're gonna spend $170 on a bait on a stem, you may as well get a matching base. Do you need this hose? No, you can use a cheapo hose. Do you need this bowl? No. But it all comes together really nice. The good thing is now, the Aviator Hookah is another option. There's some great hookahs out there. Regal, Prometheus, um, 
the other one? The, oh, the Star Buzz. Can't beat those. Um, I may have missed one, but there are new hookahs coming to the market. Now you've got the Aviator. So that's it. I really like it. Check it out. Check out hookahjohn.com. Buy everything you need there, hookah related. Uh, drop me a line if you need anything. And uh, check this out. Do a little up close. Get on Facebook. Uh, hookah John Circle of Friends. All right, guys. I will see you next time. I'm taking this to my desk. Later.